Hello, everyone. Hi. Happy Monday. Lori Juskowitz here. Yes. Okay. Just flip the screen. Hi. Good morning. Happy Monday. Uh, Lori Juskowitz, Money, Energy, and Manifestation Coach. Hi. I am popping in today. I wanted, so super cool happened yesterday. And I wanted to uh, let you all know what that was here. If you're watching the replay, click replay. Uh, just let me know um, what you think of this video. This way, uh, you know, Facebook, all the things, all the algorithms, all the algorithms will get you exactly what you want to learn more about, and all the things. So, okay, let's dive in. So, something really interesting i've been asking for something really interesting um lately and the way that it came in gosh like just this is this video is like just solid proof that we do not have the best way we do not have like the way that something is going to come in and reach us um and often we think that something has to happen before we can have it and that is how it's going to work out right and when i say it i mean like reach your goals uh, have your dreams goals and desires you'll manifest show up for you and we put so much in the way and doing that will actually this is what makes the journey unfun right like you know how universe or like how i'm always talking about we need to enjoy, like and this came up in the Money Loves You book club. We, our job is literally to enjoy. When we enjoy our process, rather than, oh, I'll enjoy that when I get there or when I have this thing or reach this goal, dream, or desire, right? When we just enjoy the process on the way, that is actually going to be the way that what we want will come to us. And I have a fabulous story of how this happened. So for all of you who know um, how I you know, manifested, you know, my hubby and I manifested our dream house twice. Um, I did the first house, he did this house, right? And we're working on the third now. So, and if you haven't heard the story, just drop, I haven't heard the story in the comments and I'll be happy to uh, put you in touch with that thread of how I manifested my dream house like three times, right? Like or it's two times we're working on the third, you know, like days, like we manifested the house days before my, my youngest daughter at the time, which is my oldest daughter at the time, um, how we got into the neighborhood in the school district we wanted with four days to spare, like right before school started. Like we moved in four days before school started. We needed to live in this neighborhood to get her into the school. Um, you know, the, the house that was going to let us have a safe yard to play in, like the house where I wasn't going to have to go up, you know, three flights of stairs with my groceries and all my kids, like the house that I could finally have a driveway. Um, and we lived in a really old city where I had to park in the street and you never knew like where the parking spot was going to be. Sometimes it was blocks away. So if you haven't heard that story, let me know and just say, I haven't heard the story, put it in the comments and I'll get you in touch with that video. So anyway, coming back to, so we're in this house we're the second house that we manifested, right? Um, and it has like, so we're going through some transitions. Like my oldest daughter has been married now for a few years and moved out. My other two daughters are older now. Like my youngest is 21 and my middle is um, going to be, she's 23, but she's going to be 24 this year. So we're going through some changes and like my, so my hubby and I have a little bit more time to cook in our kitchen now, you know, as we're before, I was the only one in the kitchen, you know, the way that my, I was a stay at home mom for years. So when we purchased this house, the kitchen being small was not a big deal. You know, my husband worked full time. He was usually out of town. The kids were at school. They were young. They weren't cooking at all. So it was not a big deal that the kitchen literally just fit me. <laughs> Right. And I was fine in the kitchen because it was just me. But now with the kids older moving out, like you would think that this would be like an easier time to be in my kitchen, but it's not because now they're coming out with all these great accessories, like the Instapot, right? Like the air fryer, right? Like my portable ice machine, right? Like all of these things, like my cappuccino maker. Yo, I got my cappuccino maker. It's amazing. Um, you know, and I was like, I have run out of counter space. So my hubby and I were like, 
okay, next house is going to have a bigger kitchen. You know, and I'm like, how is it that we had five people in this house plus everyone's boyfriends and things? Like, right, y'all, like, dinner here was insane. I'll see, I have a picture one night of us. We had to, like, actually eat outside because um, there were so many people at our table. And I'm like, it's funny, like, you think, like, as the kids get older and move out that you're going to have more space. It's actually not the way that it works because you end up, like, doubling people, <laughs> right? So husbands come in, boyfriends come in, right? So now my kitchen is too small, and it's getting to the point where it's aggravating. It's like, I don't even want to go into the kitchen, the kitchen and cook anymore, right? Like, I'm like, I don't even want, like, I walk in there and I'm like claustrophobic. And in the reason why is because one of my values is spaciousness. So there's no way in hell I'm going to walk into a room that makes me feel like, you know, because everybody's in it, right? Like, so now my kids want to cook. Everybody wants, my husband is like taking up cooking. You know, if you like, I'll have to put some of his cooking recipes onto my story, right? Like we're making bread, right? Like we're cooking things. And so anyway, so this has been really getting out of hand and go in with the kitchen space. And I said to my husband, I'm like, I think it's time. I think we need to just move into a space where, um, you know, we just we need a bigger kitchen for the things that we want to be doing. Like I want to be making bread. Like we are making bread, right? Like I'm, you know, making bone broth. So I'm using like my, my ninja foodie to like cook turkey breasts and then take the bones and make bone broth, right? Like I'm doing like all of these really super cool things that I didn't really have a lot of time to do before. So I'm like, we need a bigger house. We need to move. And, you know, and, and there's been some other reasons as well, but this one's been a pretty big reason, but we love our house, right? We love, we love this house. But as with any goal, dream, vision, manifestation, you know, when you have it, we've been here since 2008, like you, your life shifts and changes. Like this is another in reason, like why, like not to hold too tightly to things because, Oh, as hard as it sounds, like to even say this, like there's there's going to be a time soon, you know, in probably less than three years that we release this house and someone else gets to use it, right? And we go on to something better. But that's the thing. Like sometimes it can be hard, like when you're in something that you really love and you're like, but this, I love this house. And like your like death grip is on it, but you're actually preventing the bigger, better thing for you to, from coming in. So... Anyhow, so coming back to like what this has to do with my portable ice maker, paint and countertops. So the number one issue in my house is the countertop space. It literally, that kitchen was built in the 50s. It has like a section this big and then it turns and then it's like this big and then on the clear across, then there's this other countertop that's like this big. But my ice maker goes there, my knife block goes there, right? Like there's all kinds of things that were there. So we got this ice maker last summer because we had so many people at our house all the time and trying to keep beverages cold. We were going through like six to eight bags of ice a week, right? And it was like getting to be an expense. It was like somebody had a, like, it was, it was like bad, right? Like, so it was probably like 60 to $80 a month in ice. This helm. I'm like, you know what? Let's just buy an ice maker. Now I wanted the kind that would go in the garage, like the kind like in restaurants where you like, you know, we worked restaurant for years, like where it's all like the big, like big ice, right? But it was probably going to be a little bit too big and I was going to need a whole lot of water and water lines and all the things. So I got a portable one for the counter. Ah, <sighs> and it's been great. We just constantly have ice. Everyone's like, everyone's drinking more water because of it. I'm using the filtered water to make ice cubes, right? Um, and again, our kitchen was built in the 50s. So you're probably like, why don't you just have a fridge with an ice maker? But they're really tall and my opening doesn't fit it. So for my fridge. So we have a smaller fridge without an ice maker. So anyway, um, but this counter space is valuable that the ice maker is on is like valuable real estate in my house. So it was like, okay, I need the ice maker. I'll deal with the space some other way. So everything came to a head like these past few months with the countertop space. And I just, I said, universe, I need help. I need help with this. Like this is frustrating to me and I need space in my counter. Uh, I need space in my kitchen. Like so my next kitchen, like 
I was already like putting the step ahead. I needed my next kitchen to have all of these things. And like, basically in the meantime, my family, my hubby and I would just have to like put up with and tolerate this crap in the meantime. It never occurred to me that there could have been a solution that would happen before the next house came in. Okay. So, cause we're looking probably a couple, three years, you know, it could be less. I have no idea. I'm releasing the outcome. I will let it show up in whatever way it gets to come in. But you know, it's, I don't have like, yeah, like it's going to be some time. So anyway, so I, the past week, our ice maker hasn't been working. And I'm like, I bought this last July. We think we set it up in like August. <laughs> like, I know we use it, but it's designed to be used. You know, it's designed to make ice. I took care of it. I, it was a self-cleaning one. We descaled it all the time. You know, like we took it apart. We vacuumed out where the fan would go. We like, you know, took care of like the... I don't know, like the cooling little agent thingies in there and the pipes and vacuumed it all up. And we took care of it. And here it was like February and it was acting up. And I was just like, you gotta be kidding me. So I started doing some research. I had researched the product before we purchased it. It had great reviews. But I'm like, let me go back into the reviews and let me see if anyone's had any issues. Um, or maybe they've had this happen and they have the solution, right? So I go in there. And all of a sudden, like the most updated comments were stopped working, stopped working, stopped working. Stopped. I'm like, oh, come on. This thing was like over $400. Not thinking that for that price point, it was going to be like a six or seven month thing. You know, I was a little bit more committed in my level there. I thought by committing over $400 that it was going to last longer. So... I reached out to Amazon and I was just like, look, I just want to let you all know of like, this is the issue I'm having. This is what's going on. It's only six to seven months old. Um, the manufacturer only put a 30 day warranty on the product. I'm like, I'm just bringing this to your attention because you know, you have millions of sellers, but just so you know, like now, like all the reviews are coming in, this product isn't working that, you know, this is a, a hefty price tag to only get six or seven, you know, just explain the whole thing. And the person was amazing. And they actually refunded my money because they were like, you're right. You've not like, I've been a customer of, before Prime, I've been with Amazon. Like when it used to be Toys R Us was their toy department. I don't know if anyone that remembers that when Amazon was Toys R Us, they used to like connect that way. Um, so literally since like 2002. So anyway, um, they gave me my money, less the restocking fee, which is fine, um, which it wasn't even that much. And I was like, okay, that was really neat. That was really cool how like they took care of it. And I was just like, I'm bummed. I need to find a new ice maker, but we'll figure it out. You know, so my husband was like, I can't believe they gave you your money back. I'm like, either did I. But Amazon did state it was a one-time thing and it wouldn't be happening again. <laughs> but like, I didn't even ask for a refund. I just asked for help. So I got the refund. And my husband was like, let's just start looking at other places. So we started researching at different stores and I actually found a bigger ice maker that makes more ice, right? And does all these other amazing things. And it was smaller. And I was like, you gotta be kidding me. So, and then, so I was like looking at it with my husband and I said, Dan, what if in the kitchen we got like a cabinet Oh, here comes the complication piece. Like we got this tall cabinet that would just fit the ice maker, our new cappuccino maker, and we'd free up the counter space that we do have. And he was like, oh, and here's the compl complication piece. We have this friend who's amazing and he's a woodworker. Listen to, the, listen to the complication here. Let's call him. He'll be coming here Monday. Let's take some measurements and we'll make this ledge that goes over the space in our kitchen, which would give us wall space where we could now y'all like how is that going to hold an ice maker right it would have to come off of the wall so far it have braces under it and it was going to go over the garbage can i'm like no <laughs> this can be easier 
So I found a super tall cat. It was not even super tall. It was like five foot tall. It had two, I'll show you the picture. It's amazing. Anyway, it's gonna hold our cappuccino maker. It's gonna hold our ice maker. It's going to hide our dog food. It comes out on wheels and has casters just for the dog food. It's black, it's brown. The drawers that the ice maker will be on will pull out and that the cappuccino will be on will be pulled out. I'm like, oh my God, like this is luxurious. Like this is amazing. And guess what? It freed up an entire section of my countertop that is at least three foot, three foot by five foot. I'm like, you've got to be kidding me. So I'm like, how was what I was asking for actually coming to me through a broken ice maker, a refund, which I was not even expecting. I got a new ice maker, bigger and better, and a gorgeous way Oh, it gets even better and a gorgeous way to store it. And, and for those of you that are familiar with Kohl's, I had a 30% off coupon and $30 in Kohl's cash. Ooh, ooh. I spent, I got all of those, I got both of those items for less than half of what I originally paid for my first ice maker. And I got a three foot by five foot section of countertop available. So I went into my kitchen yesterday after all this happened, we packed up the, the ice maker and getting it all shipped back. And I'm like, so I said to my husband who was cooking, I'm like, I can actually help you. What do you want me to do? I, ha I stepped into that three foot by five foot counter space and I felt spacious. I felt like we could cook together. I felt like we could do something together. Like it didn't feel frustrating. It didn't feel like I'm going to blow up this kitchen. It, it, it didn't involve me like, who designed this thing? You know, it didn't feel like I sometimes we get so frustrated that I'd be like, who actually designed this kitchen? Who thought this was a good idea, right? So now I'm like, I don't have to have those moments of like complete, like mind blowing moments of like, okay, let me just take some deep breaths and come back into my body here. Now it's like, I want to cook. I want to go into this space. I want to be in there. And I could feel it in my body. Like my gut was just like, this is so great. And so here's the thing. I didn't have to wait until I sold my house to get the kitchen I wanted. I could actually start having what I wanted right now. And it wasn't by just using my imagination. <laughs> it actually showed up with real ways I could do this now. And it didn't start out looking like that. It looked like I had an expensive piece of machinery break and that could have been like disastrous, right? Like when things are breaking or falling apart, Hmm. It's actually sometimes they're just breaking and they're falling apart, right? Sometimes this is the process and feel that shit, right? Like this is not like, this is not going to be spiritually bypassing anything, right? Like there are times when shit is just falling apart and you get to be in that space and you get to let it fall apart. And then as it, you start to circle and come around, it's like, okay, now what can be made with these broken pieces? Is there something that can be made with these broken pieces? Or do I just want to sweep them up and throw them in the garbage? Okay, so in my specific example here, I'm dealing with an appliance. Sometimes when things are breaking, it's actual life things, it's relationships, it's people are falling away, it's things are falling away, it's a job is changing and it's like, Ugh, this doesn't feel good anymore, right? And sometimes it's people leaving our lives and that can really suck because we might not want them to be leaving. I get that 100%. Feel that. Be with that. Take the time to move through that. And then if it feels good at a later time, like sometimes it's like processing. Sometimes it's like, okay, I know something is happening here. I, I see it. I feel it. I'm going to hold this and I'm going to come back to it, right? Like <laughs> we can do that too. 
So I just want to make sure I'm addressing all the kinds of ways that things can break. And now coming back to my ice maker, how that actually breaking actually created more space for me now and not for later. So now it expands even more. So now I've got this counter space opened up. I got to move the knife block. I got to move the ice maker. I've got the new one on the way. I've got the new cabinet coming in. The dimensions are perfect. I'm like, how does, like, this is, oh, this is amazing. So now I'm cooking with my hubby in the kitchen, feeling fantastic. And this is, and like, we cut the cooking time in half. Normally he'd be in there for a few hours, right? We were able to cut the cooking time in half. And then because I wasn't like with all the, remember from like my last week's live of like, you know, when you free up the space of like when all the things are happening. So like, because I wasn't like, who designed this kitchen and thought this was a good idea to give me four feet of counter space? Whose idea was it to make this in a complete fucking 10 by 10 square that I can't move in, you know? So because that was no longer the frustration, I created space, ideas started flowing in of like, oh, I actually want to paint my cupboards. Oh that guy that my hubby was trying to like overcomplicate things with, right? Like, cause it's the way overcomplications can come in. I'm gonna actually see if he can make me new cupboard faces. He loves to work with wood. I like to pay people that like to work with wood, you know, and, and really like either I, I want to start with painting and I could see how this could move into like just refacing the cupboards, right? So then I was like, well, hold on, let's paint the walls. Right? Like, whoa, hold on. Let's do like a deep clean in here. Hold on. I have pretty shelf paper I've been meaning to use that. So when it opens, the cupboards open. I love floral, as you can tell, my peonies. And I love flowers. You can see my lilies. Oh, and my fern. Yeah, I'm trying to rescue that guy. So I love to like open up and like see beautiful flowers. So just by having my ice maker break, right? Just by creating that space for like a new one to come in and go onto this new space. I gotta take a picture of it when it comes in. We'll get it all put together. Um, if you don't follow me on Instagram, follow me on Instagram. I'll put it on my stories too. That'll be really cool. Um, but now we get to like paint the cupboards and like do fun things. Like I love watching like HGTV, Fixer Upper, all of that. So like I've had ideas floating around, but I'm like, can't do those ideas until I have my new house, right? Like there's the extra step I was putting in. Okay, so this is all to say you can have what you want now. How might that trying, how can that, you can have what you want now and how might the steps, the maybe they're smaller, maybe they're not full on what you're asking for, but maybe they're snippets to the path. Maybe they're breadcrumbs, right? Like that leads you to the, the thing that it is that you're looking for. How are these things showing up for you? So the next time something breaks, like an appliance, right? Like an appliance, like maybe it's a plate. Maybe it's just, maybe it's a system in your business. Ooh, always, yeah. Systems inside the business, right? Maybe it's like, oh, I, whatever it is, check in, see, okay, this sucks. The, like This is totally like not fun for me right now. Yeah, I get to be frustrated with this in this moment, but what might be trying to come in in its place? I remember one time I had an email server that, or an email provider, and they wouldn't let me do what I wanted with like the design piece. And I was upset. I was like, what is going on? And I wanted to bring over the exact same template that I had from my old email provider, right? And the new email provider was like, girl, no, like that doesn't even work. We don't recognize that code, like no. And I was bummed. I almost didn't switch, but I was like, you know what? Okay, right? This is talking about like holding on too tightly. I was like, hold on, let me step back, see what's trying to come in. I went to the new email provider and they actually had like, I got to create an even more amazingly better template that you all now see with my picture of like, hey, what's going on y'all? Like that one. And I get to have my Instagram uh, feed at the bottom of it. That wasn't even an option in my other email provider before. I get to do so many more fun, fun things, but I had to release what wasn't working or what broke or the disappointment over why it wouldn't work to be able to receive the next better thing. So those challenges sometimes it's like, 
what else might be trying to come in in its place. Okay, so I want to hear from you. I see somebody's watching. Hey, who's joining? Say hi in the comments. Um, yeah, let me know how this landed. This is going to tie back to like Inside Becoming Magnetic, my manifestation program. This is like releasing the how, right? This is like what we talk about on a way deeper level inside the program because like we hold on so tight, right? And like having to control all the things because we're just so used to being in charge and like running the show, but we're actually telling universe no whenever we run the show. So, because I could have just said like, let me be mad about my ice maker breaking and it would have been, hi, Dan. How are you? Good to see you. Yeah, like I could have been just mad about that. And then it would have just been, boom, close the door. But I'm like, hmm, being curious. What else is trying to happen here? And I got a refund. Like, pff, who knew? And I got a new ice maker. So let me know what's showing up for you. How can you take this and apply this in your life? Um, and if you haven't watched all the way from the beginning, Danielle, go back and listen all the way from the beginning. It's pretty good. Uh, it's actually really good. And it actually ties back into our um, Monday money tip for the day, right, of like clearing out, decluttering, making space, uh, like in our wallets and in our purses and, you know, uh, wherever you store money, it's like cleaning out that drawer. How can you love on money? It's the same thing with like, how can you love what you already have, even if it's your kitchen counter space that isn't really serving you, right? It's like, how can you make space with where you are right now? How can you like release like the attachments to what's showing up and have, you know, even if it's not like the full image of what it is you're looking for, it might just be a block of it, right? I mean, this might be a block of it. Like, I want a grandiose, beautiful island in my kitchen with soapstone sink and counters. And I want the soapstone to be that, like, really pretty uh, light lime green that looks like seafoam green, like Caribbean green from, like, the ocean, right? Like, I want, like, these beautiful cupboards. And I want the seating around the island in those oversized, extra plush, memory foam thick cushions. I want, like, 10 of those around the island. So it's going to be ginormous, right? Storage underneath, gorge in, a, in an ocean view, right? Like, Obviously, I'm not at that full view, but I just expanded my counter space and stepped into that spacious feeling that's actually going to help me get the soapstone giant island with overstuffed chairs. <laughs> yeah, because stools are not comfortable for my ass. I do not like stools. I love that concept of stools, but we need memory foam oversized chairs in my counter at my island. All right, let me know what you're all thinking, what you hear in this, and yay, I'm so excited. And don't forget to drop pictures of when you like clean out your wallet, your money, when you arrange it. Um, you know, if you keep cash, especially, I love to have cash. I love to, you know, love money, tell money I love money, all the things. You'll put the hearts in there. Here's like my little angel for my little wallet. Here's my vision board uh, wallet, keeping it clean. Make sure there's space, you know, where more money can come in. Um, if you want some accountability, drop those fo those photos of your wallet uh, inside the Monday Money Tip thread. I want to see them. All right, everybody. Have an amazing rest of your day. Let me know if there's any questions, too. Any questions, let me know. All right, everybody. Bye, Danielle. Thanks so much for joining. Have a good one.